There are lots and lots of ways for people to grow their own food, and today I'm talking with Natalie Fullerton about still another method of getting vegetables out of the ground and productive called high tunnels. We had a previous episode that showed a, a pretty significant, almost a commercial grade high tunnel. This is one that actually would be available to homeowners, to small acreage owners, to farm families who might want to look at a slightly different way of enhancing their income, and of course, growing that wonderful local food, being able to bring that produce to their tables. So Natalie, tell me a little bit about how you got started on this particular high tunnel project. Sure. Um, I got started on this project through the Office of Rural Initiative. I was hired as their graduate student. Um, with this project, I am somewhat replicating what Dale Lindgren has been doing in North Platte, only this project is a scaled down version, um, a little bit more practical for producers to use. What does that really mean in terms of the cost of a high tunnel and the size to give our viewers a little bit of an example of what they might expect to be able to do in their own landscape? In this project, it basically means adding a little bit more value to what uh, producers might already have and at a lower cost with that. This particular high tunnel is uh, 20 feet by 48 uh, feet. Um, it costs about $3,200 and it took two people to uh, put the high tunnel up. Right now I have several different species and varieties growing inside the high tunnel. I wanted to keep um, it very diverse so that producers have more opportunities when it comes to research. So tell me what you have planned for extending the season in the high tunnel so we can expect to see some different things in the fall of the year. Um, I hope to get an early enough start on the produce um, early in the season so that way I can have a later uh, uh, planting as well and extend that season further into the fall than what we're accustomed to here in Nebraska. I think one of the really fun takeaway messages from the high tunnels is that you don't have to spend a lot of money to be able to really enhance the quality of your produce and extend your season, which is really a great opportunity for lots of people in all aspects of life in Nebraska.